almost all their courses are like 200 euros per yeah. semester. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 200 <laughs> euros per semester. Yeah, so like on you, average, on average, all of the engineering courses they are 200 euros, right? Data analytics, uh, analytics, data yeah. analytics is 200 yeah. euros, 200 euros. So hi guys and um, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Comfort Olagayo Adegbero and if you're yet to subscribe to this channel, kindly do so by hitting the subscribe button. So um, the last time we had a session or like an interview with my friends about studying in Poland. Today we'll be talking about studying in Luxembourg and here yeah, I have with me Faith, which, who is a very good friend of mine. She's currently in Luxembourg and um, I'm sure she's done with her master's program at the moment. So she'll be, you know, shedding more light on the application process and, you know, every other useful information that will be relevant for you guys in case you're planning to go to this country for your graduate application. So just stay tuned and we will be right back. So welcome back guys and um before we just go into like what we have prepared for you so i want Faith to introduce herself yeah i mean i know a bit of her but it's just fine for her to like tell you guys what her name is she's done with her program so she could just maybe like in what she studied what she's currently doing what university and any other interesting thing that you would love us to know about thank you okay thank you so much comfort for that yeah so basically, I'll uh, introduce myself. My name is Bonnet Queen Fates. Um, um, I'm a master's graduate in University of Luxembourg, and um, I studied accounting and audit in University of Luxembourg. And um, like two years ago, I left Nigeria where I had my bachelor's, and I came to Luxembourg directly for my master's degree program. And I'm um, like, I'm a graduate already because I received my results recently. So <laughs> yes, I'm a graduate. <laughs> <laughs> and um also um basically i like traveling i love reading they said i love reading so that's a brief introduction about me i don't know <laughs> okay <laughs> um so now you finished your program like just this like yeah let me say august like oh wow yeah yes just last month it's even a few yeah. days ago really so yeah so I'm really glad you. thank you so much <laughs> thank you so much yeah so um i'll just be asking you like some questions i've listed okay. out and i know that like when you answer these questions they would provide like information for people who are planning yeah. to come on board so like the first question i would be asking you mm -hmm. is um how did you get to study in December? was it through a scholarship or were you a self-sponsored student? Like, did you fund yourself while coming? Okay. Um. So the thing is, uh, first of all, making a decision like I want to study it outside of Nigeria because you don't know where you end up with end up in because you apply different countries, right? So um, coming to Luxembourg, right? Um, applying to Luxembourg, I came with a mindset that I'll be self-funding myself because it was mm. relatively cheap. And when I mean relatively, because I looked at the cost, the tuition fee, cost of accommodation, and like maybe my feeding and all that basic um, um, spending, I could tell my dad could like, my sponsor, my dad could like get her for me. So I came with a mindset of self-funding. Like I said, it's relatively cheap. But along the line, I got a scholarship. Probably we'll talk about that when we go deep into okay. scholarship. Yeah, but okay. I got a scholarship, which was a bit, like, it was really relieving because I wanted to self-fund myself. So I would say it's two-way. I came with self-funding mindset, but I eventually got a scholarship. Yeah. That's, so. That's so good. Thank you so much, Faith, for that. And, um, okay, so... He will be talking about like scholarships. You mentioned briefly that you got a scholarship in between, but maybe we could start from that. But I also like love you to like maybe give a hint if you know mm -hmm. other fully funded scholarships that might be available, mm -hmm. like to study in Luxembourg, even if it's not in your university, because I know you're studying mm -hmm. at the University of Luxembourg. I'm sure there yeah. are other universities that yeah. are in this particular country. So. Okay. 
Okay, so first of all, I'll start with the fact that Luxembourg, we have University of Luxembourg it's in Luxembourg, right? So mm -hmm. we have other universities, I think Reiner's University and other universities, right? But like I said initially, Luxembourg is the cheapest like mm. universities in Luxembourg, right? Amongst but, other universities. Amongst other in, in Luxembourg, yes. It's like wow. basically the cheapest, right? And uh, with that, because the university... Um, is very cheap right so they usually mm -hmm. don't have like a fully funded scholarship i don't think of any like i would say i don't think of any that i've heard from somebody or i've asked somebody or i've seen personally you won't just see like a direct scholarship from the sites it's mostly mm. from when you get here you sit in their websites or or you get a recommendation or from external bodies external bodies such as maybe um maybe ngos probably companies that are giving this scholarship right because i i know of a scholarship okay let me give you one there's one called um the the ministry of foreign affairs scholarship that one you are not applying for it when you do your application right basically when your application is probably your degree you have a very good bachelor's degree you have good working experience and maybe other qualifications the department or your director in your department recommend you to the the affairs and they will when they approve that oh you're good to get a scholarship they will link they will send you the link to apply so it's not like saying you can apply on your own and we have the mm -hmm. appl and also i know of a friend actually when she was applying in nigeria they felt she was good like when it comes to her qualification she was good also they recommended her for free accommodation for the whole of her study so basically, wow. it's not like a fully funded or probably you can see it on the side, except things have changed over the course of my two years. But as at, like when I was applying and as at last year, when people were coming in, they were, they, like there is no like fully funded scholarship, basically. So it's when you get to Luxembourg, either you get a recommendation, external bodies, or your director is then recommending you to the the scholarship I've listed, which is the ABBL, the um, the director of uh, financial services, and I I heard the of Ministry of Foreign, Foreign Affairs. Yeah, yeah, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and head of one currently, which is the Guardian Scholarship. So they mm. are like recommendations, or you are applying sending links. Nice, nice. So these scholarships you mentioned are like um peculiar to the University of Luxembourg, right? Yes, yes. But okay, that but means okay. okay sorry. No, go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. So these ones are linked to the university, right? But the one I applied to is called Ferrero Scholarship. It's actually in collaboration with the university, but Ferrero is a company in Luxembourg, mm. right? It's a company, mm -hmm. so they collaborate with their top their students. Like everybody applied in the well, actually is for people in the faculty of um faculty of law, finance, and economics that are entitled to apply. So they choose the five top applications to like to benefit from the scholarship but well, this one is external but it's in collaboration with university of luxembourg that's good so it means that yeah. most of the scholarships available are like when you're already in the system i would say yes so even yeah. when you're yeah. applying from nigeria you, you know sometimes let me give uk um schools as example now because okay. when you go to if you're a self-sponsored student and you want to apply for studying in the uk you would see something like maybe the vice chancellor scholarship blah 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 yeah. meaning that when you gained admission into the university when you've got yeah. in the admission that um you probably are qualified for like maybe ten thousand pounds or so depending oh, yeah. on your results so Basically, do you yeah. see information like that on the website of the university or you are not even aware of all this until you it. enter Yes, you're not aware of it because the thing is, um, uh, my the two of my friends I know that are Nigerians, basically two of them that applied, they just send them an email. We are mm. being recommended for this scholarship, probably based on your transcript you uploaded, and we're like, okay, uh, I will send your document to this link. So even me, I won't know because the link is specifically sent to this person. So it's not really on the website, yeah. yeah. So it's specifically sent to and my other friends who also that got free accommodation from the beginning of like the session to the last session, they also sent out the link that you've been recommended for this um for this scholarship for just your accommodation all throughout your study. And that was how she applied, sent in the required document and she got it. Wow, Basically, that's nice. Yeah. Um, you mentioned um, like the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. I also know, like in Italy, for example, there's also the yeah. Ministry of 
I don't know if it's foreign affairs or maybe Italian government scholarship boards. Yeah. Since it's Ministry of Foreign, it sounds like a government kind of yeah, it's scholarship. Yeah, government. Yes, government so it's also, it's not like external for like international students coming also. It's when you're already there. So you have to be a student first to also yes. get that kind of scholarship. Yes, I don't think you have to be here in Luxembourg, but you just have to be admitted. Oh, okay. Yes, admitted. Because I think it's when you're being admitted, they know you're, you're like you're coming in. That's mm. when they like, recommend you for it. Mm. Yes. That's nice. Even if it's just surprising that maybe they don't have like some of this information on their website. Mm. Or maybe if someone just search on Google, maybe, yeah. I don't know, maybe someone could find something. But, really. but for me, I would say I don't think there is any known public. But yeah. you can check the site. This is like a disclaimer. Yeah, yeah. You can check the site. But basically, for the ones I know and the people that got, like this Ferrero scholarship too was also on my website. I didn't even see it was on my um on our like our newsletter for my department okay yeah so yeah, yeah basically i, so I didn't really pay attention to it because mm -hmm. we have a lot of messages i i, I won't read it was just my friend i said fit apply for this scholarship and mm -hmm. i just casually applied for it because it was on my newsletter and uh, lucky we did interview we did process, <laughs> <laughs> and they were like congratulations you got to start like wow okay i got it <laughs> but it was not fully funded it was just like a a set of like an amount they'll give to you it was like around 2700 euros per semester wow like, they that's just give good. You. and also apart from this and this is fair i'm talking about specifically about fair because i'm um i'm a scholar recipient yeah. yes a recipient i have full information about it so apart from them giving the scholarship, you're entitled to do an internship with them for your internship wow. period. So instead of That's doing good. your internship, do your internship period, automatically you are you can do your internship. But basically, if you don't want to do your internship there, probably you have better mm -hmm. companies or you have another complaint in mind, you can as well go. It's not like in coach, you have to do it there, but that is the added advantage, free internship with the stipend. Oh, good. Yeah. So like this... um. I can't remember what you called it, Ferrero or something. Ferrero, yes. Okay, like, yeah. Um, yes. Oh, an Italian company, that's good. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, were you awarded the scholarship like in your second year or it was still like maybe after the first semester in your first year? Okay, so, uh, basically, um, I applied, I think, along my first semester and I was one, like, I was um, like done with my first semester, but it paid for my first semester. Wow. So, yes. it's covered like also oh, yeah. for my wow. first like, fourth semester so even now i've seen my result but i've not gotten anything for my fourth semester so they pay you after your result is out mm. just in a line like your result is good that's and good basically that's so good. when i was already in my second semester i was paid for my first semester but immediately i got my results they paid me the stipend for the first semester Oh, that's yeah, good. So it means that, time. um, yeah, that's good. Irrespective of the school. So it means that there are most likely funding opportunities available. But except you're in the system, you most likely system. will not know. Yes. And it varies based on your course of study, your university, yes. your department, yes. and maybe yes. sometimes your nationality also, right? Yes, basically. Yeah. And also, I think when COVID started, there's a lot of uh, relief funds, still mm. who just apply for for the third nationals so i think these are like information you get within when you are in the system and you just have to be like when you talk to people especially older students or people that have graduated to know where you like where you, do you have access to any um scholarship during your time or any stipend and you get the information and you apply because i remember when um i applied for ferro somebody also sent me another link that i should apply I was like I already have a I don't want stress of interview. Yeah. And I sent it to somebody. Luckily enough, the person got the interview. Like mm. got the scholarship. And this is another set of um scholarship. Scholarship entirely. So you have to be in the system basically. So mm. that was say generally for fair uh, Luxembourg scholarship and their fair, um, um, their stipends uh, relief funds. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. So now you said um studying in Luxembourg or maybe University of Luxembourg. Yeah. specifically right yeah it's yes. relatively cheap yeah so like can you like give us like an a rough draft of maybe the tuition okay. and maybe accommodation or so okay before accommodation tuition first how much do you think the tuition costs 
Okay, so basically, almost all of Luxembourg, because um, we have the faculties, the Faculty of Science and Technology, the Faculty of Law, Finance and Economics, and the Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences, right? And out of these faculties, and we have also specialized courses, and out of these um, uh, faculties, we have like 50 courses, right? But when I say related nature, almost all their courses are like 200 euros per yeah. semester. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 200 <laughs> euros per semester. Yeah. So like on average. On average. So let me just give you exam uh, uh, exemptions of those that are really expensive. So um, for courses like wealth management, economics and finance, we have mm -hmm. civil engineering, all of the engineering courses, they are 200 euros, right? Data analytics. Uh, analytics Data yeah. analytics is 200 euros. 200 euros. So but basically my own course, accounting and audit, is mm -hmm. 1,600 euros. Per right? semester. Per semester. Then we have um, entrepreneur innovation and entrepreneur courses. I think that one is like 2,000 euros. Per semester, then we have the like the, the should I use the word Baba of them or which is logistics and chain management? It's twelve thousand euros per semester. So that one is the essentials, like the ones that are really expensive. But we have to be for every others, they are like two hundred euros, four hundred euros per semester. So um, if I get yours clearly, you said one thousand six hundred per semester. So it means yeah, like for, for your two years. Is. Two years yeah. were like six thousand four hundred. Six thousand four hundred, yeah. Right calculations, yeah. <laughs> six thousand four hundred, yeah, for the old two years. But mind you, the logistics and chain management is just one year, so meaning two semesters. But I mm. think they have other other things you do in your third or fourth semester where you go to MIT for like practicals and and you still pay for that. Yes, no, no, that one is embedded in the twelve thousand euros. Oh. So where they go to MIT, they stay for like maybe some months for internship to see like practicals on how the logistics sure. and chain management sure. works. But it's inside the twelve thousand per semester. That's a really good one because you know yeah. if someone is planning to, it's similar to when you're comparing the cost wise with studying in the UK. UK is almost like yeah. as expensive as twenty four thousand yeah. pounds, sixteen thousand pounds sometimes. Yeah. So. You know, if you want to balance me, I would advise that you go to um, Luxembourg for this kind of course, if it's the mm. same value of money. So anybody well, watching yeah. this, if mm. you're considering like applying for grad studies in this kind of area, this career path, hearing the course now and comparing it with studying in the UK, I think it's mm. relatively better because of this MIT experience and, you know, having access to top organizations and companies to get like hands-on experiences mm. so that's very very much it's a good one really so yeah. um this is for the university of luxembourg but they have idea of like universities generally in luxembourg as a country do they mm. have like cheap education like no or <laughs> they don't no or you don't have <laughs> because, an idea no i know that i don't have an idea like you okay. want i know which is like like i know is the like, next universities like is psychology physiotherapy university kind of mm -hmm. right it's very expensive i wow. think per semester is as close to as eighteen thousand per semester jesus yeah. so, so i think it's just university of luxembourg that is being subsidized by their government oh so yeah. when if you check the west website right they won't tell you it's like tuition fee what they will tell you is registration fee for the 200 mm -hmm. i think it's for my course they wrote social fee they feel it's expensive mm -hmm. but those 200 euros they will tell you like kind of a registration fee it's not really tuition per se if you understand mm -hmm. so the, the lorinex i don't know if that's the right pronunciation but it's like as high as eighteen thousand euros per semester so per it's not, semester, not, not even per year no it's not cheap <laughs> oh my goodness it's not, it's not. <laughs> wow well, it's still good, at least yeah. University of Luxembourg. But based on the courses you've listed, I kind of realize that you don't have like um, STEM related courses. They're just social sciences, right? And no, business like, like, courses. You know, like you know, I said we have three departments. So okay, for um or the Faculty of Science and Technology, right? Oh, we this have, Faculty of Science and Technology. Uh, yes, yeah. like three faculties, they specialize oh. courses. We have the science uh, masters in faculty of science, technology, and medicine. Then we have the mm -hmm. economics and finance. Then we have the 
social uh, humanities and social science as education. So under the science, then we have the engineering, we have the medicine, we have master's mm. education in computer science, management system and security, high performance computing. So they are like shit. A lot of a lot of uh, courses, so you can check the the website for yeah. like information. And mind you, also each of courses have their own criteria. Criteria mm. based on the number of uh, etc, like unit courses, and also the languages, right? Because Ooh, language requirements. Yes, because Luxembourg is a multilingual com country. <laughs>